now that we have everything I need we're going to just add some motion and some transition effects to our video the way to do this is we'll just go and zoom closer to our shot so we can see it again click off the collections bin at the top here go to tasks and say view video transitions in the video transition section you will find a whole lot of different transitions that you can use so for let's say for the first one we would use for instance let's just use a simple fade fade is a dissolve it goes from one shot to the next and we're going to just all you need to do is grab it drag it down center it between the two shots and release and if you hit the play button you would now see what it looks like and it dissolves over to that shot going into that shot let's just use something different you can use anything that you please um, let's have a page call for this one for instance and we'll have a page call for the last one to the other side the next step would be to find some movement for the still images just zoom in a little closer so we can see our shots one by one go to view video effects and again you can on the top side here if you click on this you can either view them as that or you can view them as thumbnails if you click on these images here on the left it'll open up in your preview window and if you hit the play button it'll show you what it'll look like so we're going to have the first picture zooming in the second one zooming out and the third one zooming in again so on the first image that we have which is this one over here all you need to do is take the ease in drag it and drop it and the ease out on the second picture we're going to drop it on that one and the ease in on the third picture and what that will create if we just zoom out a little is a little movement on the pictures themselves it'll slowly zoom it in and slowly zoom it out as you can see it zooms in it's a page call zooms out and zooms back in okay here we don't have a transition effect so let's put one into there let's go back to our transitions and let's just put a little circly thing into there okay and then it will go over to our last images and these are the ones that were created in photo story there's an entire tutorial on photo story at freeganwebvideo.com if you go there there's a free tutorial on how to use photo story okay now let's zoom out of our timeline again and we're going to add some audio to our movie go back to our collections so we go to collections go to tasks import audio or music and I've got this one song here that I've done before and just say import it'll import it again if you go look in your collections it'll import your audio straight into your collections bin it'll be in your normal collections bin it's not read as video like the other files were to insert the audio select it drag it to your audio music track pull it to the left and just drop it in you'll now notice that uh, the music is far too long so we're just going to click on the music find the end of our f movie which is over there put our timeline cursor there and we can actually zoom in and make sure that it is at the end yes it is select the audio track and again just split it and delete the piece that we don't want now your movie has audio it has video it has still images inside of it and this is what the final product looks like
these are the basic elements of how to work in your Windows Movie Maker timeline. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And for more tutorials, just visit www.freeganwebvideo.com. Have fun!